Okay, next step is to make uh, finish machining of this boss on our part. So first of all, I will create new operation, which is 5D surfacing. Here it is in finishing section. Press create. Then I will choose the tool, double click on the tool name here and I will select 4 mm spherical mill for this, like this. So next I will go, go to job assignment and select the, the surfaces I'm going to machine. So holding control key, sorry, I will turn on the um, selection of the surfaces, okay, like this. Now holding control key I am selecting the surfaces I'm going to machine. Also I can uh, hold shift key and just drag over the surfaces I'm going to machine. I'm going to select like this. So all the surfaces are selected and I press machining surfaces button in the job assignment. Next I'm going to select some edge on my part. So I choose edge selection filter. Uh, check that model visibility is turned on here for selection of anything on your model. So I will press control key, hold it and choose this little curve on my part. Okay, this will be the first curve in my uh, job assignment. So I don't need the second one because I'm going to choose the strategy which is a cross curve like this. So a couple of tweaks for toolpath strategy. First of all, tool orientation will be not fixed but to rotary axis and the rotary axis is z-axis in uh, our workpiece coordinate system like this. So you can see this is this blue one is z-axis. Okay, next I will adjust lean and lean angles to 35 degrees. Both will be plus 35 degrees like this. This is for better machining of these vertical surfaces. Okay, you will see it in the simulation. And one more important thing, this a little button, limit job zone. Uh, this is required when you have some close to parallel surfaces in your job assignment, like we have here. This surface, one, one minute, this surface and this surface are close to parallel. So if this happens, some uh, two layer uh, toolpath can be calculated. So to avoid this, I click this button. So let's calculate the toolpath and see what we have. Okay, almost good. The toolpath is smooth and fine, but we have some uh, error message here. So let's check what we have here. So contact with model on rapid feed and access travel over the limits. Let's check what we have. So first of all, let's fix uh, contact with the model on the rapid feed. So I go to links and leads and I have feed distance, which is now two millimeters. I will set it to 4 millimeters, then let's check what we have now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go to simulation and check. Oh, I understand what is not correct. So, this is the surf, the safe plane. It is now a plane. So, I will change it to cylinder. So, here in links and leads, I will choose cylinder as a safe uh, surface for my operation. And I need to change the axis direction of this cylinder. So uh, using this vector, I will just drag it like this. Okay, so the cylinder axis is now Z axis of uh, workpiece TS uh, coordinate system, which is fine. So and recalculate the toolpath. Okay, now let's check contact with model on rapid feed. Okay, no problem. Let's let's see at this. Um, at this problem, so on our simulation uh, tab. Okay, I press this button, stop on error. <coughs> this is it, and press run. What we have here, okay, it seems that feed distance is not enough, so no problem. I will make it a little bit more. Let's say five millimeters and check once again. That's fine now, okay. Okay, so let's go to simulation and check what we have. So I will reset my workpiece, press the button simulate up to current operation and press run.
increase the speed a little bit. Okay, everything seems to be fine. So of course, uh, you can change uh, step for whatever parameter you want here. So to get the required surface quality that you want. 